Hello. 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 Welcome to episode 57. Nice of Dungeon of the Bad oh Ledge. 57. Sponsored by the Ledger, and this week's recap will be brought to you by Five, which is Seraphina. Oh, what? I, I roll of dice. <laughs> uh -huh. Roll of dice is wrong. What do you mean you can't remember? Yeah. I can't remember. I genuinely can never remember. Okay, let, just give me a. Just give me a starting point. <laughs> we just yeah, you were in. Or, oh no, we, we did that. We did that. Yeah. No, you didn't. No, it was way after that. Okay. You were the stone door came down. Yeah, you were committing acts of sacrilege in a potentially, you know, godly temple. Oh yeah, so we were. The stone wall came down. Bertha and um, Morthos were in there. I'm just going to hand you over to my associate, Elias. No, no I'm, I'm giving you a prompter. You said this. I can't. Okay, well, the prompting isn't working. I'm sorry. I genuinely can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this bit. And every you write time... down things. All right. Anyway, sorry. I'm going to ask Elliot to do it for me. Just do that. Can you get disinspiration, Dodge? Is that like a thing? Disinspiration. Oh, come on. Those of, you, those of you always forget. It's only Katie and... Um, uh, no. <laughs> that's it. Oh my god! Oh, your memory is short today. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I've actually had a bit of a. My mind is not in it. So just give me a minute. I'll be fine. Okay. Can we hand it over to Elliot, please? Looking back, <laughs> he remembers on that. everything. Looking good. Thank you. I'll dress like this for your wedding party, if you like. Oh, He's come dressed, okay. dressed and pressed in the D and D session. I don't know. Someone take up the recap, please. Yeah, right. I've had it over. So, in the previous session, um. Morthos and um, and Bertha had got trapped in a um, in a room, having used uh, the candle and tried to leave with it. Um, and essentially, so the session started with us basically with a, a locked stone door, um, and we decided. So was it Bertha and Morthos? Well, Bertha and Morthos went in via dimension door. Oh, um, yes. oh, and then we're yeah, like, yeah. oops, and then they dimension door back out again. And the yeah, session so started. Yeah, the session started by basically smashing down the door. Yeah, so they smashed down the door, and um, we went in, and we then fought. Um, no, did we? Oh my god, my brain's gone dead. I think we fought, oh we fought, we fought the um, the we serpent. Fought the people, serpent things, and and there were two them. Of, two of them. And then we killed them, and then the green gas disappeared. We then. Um, left that room we tried loads of different things to try and like figure out what the hell's going on but in the end we left with the candle um we then uh, lit as a good uh, remember remember i think oriana's holding it right now lit. Yeah, potentially in her yeah. chest yes oh um, yeah she's got the candle here and it is lit yeah and then what we decided to do was um to go north to find um, a gate to try and get out of here. And so we we milled about for a bit trying to find a gate. We did come across one, but we couldn't figure out how to get through it because it was the other side of a gate, which we, again, we didn't know how to get through because there's a keyhole. Um, so we decided to abandon that. And then we carried on, uh, carried on going until we found, I think, another gate did and we figured out how to get through that one quite quickly and then we entered into a room full of drow and there was a queeny looking one and a bunch of scary looking ones and we managed to convince these drow to uh, not just instantly kill us um but that we would could be quite useful for them if we went and killed a scorpion boy um uh, who was like some lightning scorpion boy um, and so we agreed to do them a job in basically uh, payment for our lives. And we then milled about again. We went up and we found some imprisoned elves from the looks of it. And then we decided to leave. Oh, yeah, there was loads of statues in that room, a uh, load of kind of drow uh, gods, including Lolf, I believe. And yeah. um, then we decided to leave. And that's where the session ended. They were like a oh, circus yeah. trees, weren't they? Yeah, the the trap people were halflings. Yeah, um, they, they look like, like musicians. Like they look like musicians. Not bad. Mm -hmm. um, towards the, towards the second gate, you found a mirror gate. Uh, also in that area, you had um, kind of like a weird ghostly visage of a single 
Yuan T Warrior, which is like the snake yeah. people, uh, fighting quite a few, quite a few um, Naga and overcoming them quite well. And then you went through that gate and were like, well, I was like, oh shit, because you literally tumbled into the throne room of a, um, a very powerful drow and her companions. And instead of, yeah, you know, killing you, uh, she offered you the way out uh, of the dungeon and through some great negotiation, a potential reward if you kill this <laughs> scorpion boy to the north, as you put it, the scorpion boy, who has no resemblance to lightning, as far as I'm aware. He's just mutated from a human to a scorpion. He yeah, used to be a bodyguard. Like Wayne the Rock Johnson. Someone. Okay, what were you looking for? Someone. A serpent with legs. Yeah, it's not it. Nope. I also already double checked. It had twelve legs. You also you also have the information that this was once upon a time and potentially still is, but not sure. The primary bodyguard to Mr. Hallister Blackloak. Oh yeah, that's what oh, M yeah. M in my notes means. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Mad Mage. So <laughs> we'll bring you over to this level, level ten. We play some funky music. Bada bing. Ooh, what are these pink things? Are they cards? Just been oh, yeah, yeah. Stop! Recall cards. <laughs> Yoink. Deal. New cards. Oh, no, not so <laughs> players. Deal. That film was good. Or... Oh, I got an ace of clubs. But I don't mean I can do it. You get used to cards sometimes. Oh, anyway. Freaking rubbish. The first time I might use a oh. card. <laughs> I always get the six every single time. Always. Okay. So you exit to the westerly side of this, you know, potential throne-looking room, down into a familiar canyon uh, where you saw a number of drow creatures and such run away due to mass suggestion once upon a time. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. What would you like to do? Have no sound. Come on, sound. I think we should find ourselves a place to uh, rest and, and strategize. I think this uh, scorpion boy sounds quite frightening. He does yeah. look quite grim. I agree. So, how did we get how to this point get... again, Dodge? Sorry? Say that again. Well, how did we get how to here? Get... Uh, again. From which yeah, direction? You just... For... So, you walked uh, west from the throne room and now you're in. This okay. caverny bit. Okay. Can you not see the rest of the map? You've been down here before, so it's been explored. Most oh, yeah, of the I can see. yeah, I just couldn't remember which way we came from. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, you came from. The north? Uh, you've not Some rested point. in came here. From here, right? Did she say. Yeah, you came from the... the statue area. Did she say the scorpion boy was to the north of, of where we were just uh, now? I think to the north. Yeah. Mm. Dodge, I'm going to expel. Ooh. Expel? Mm -hmm. Expend. A level three spell slot to heal Oriana. Okay. Um, which would then be three D eight. Ah, oh, shit, that's the thing. Three D eight per level of the expended spell slot plus my wiz modifier. She was up nearly. D eight plus D8 per level. Plus D eight plus level. Yeah. Uh, D eight per level. Yeah. So three D eight plus four. Three D eight plus four. Did we have to get to her through the smashed mirrors? Oops. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. That's very enough. No, because... Oh, I can't hear you very well, Dorothy. Oh, probably just because I'm not speaking very loudly. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Did we go through the mirrors? Or there's something with the smashed mirrors? Yeah, to get to here. Yeah. There's a mirror gate in the. Oh, it's a disco it's in your disco office. Disco time at the um, Avison Bailey household. This um, Ooh. uh, to Kate. Yes, this was this level did have a number of smash mirrors. Once upon a time, uh, the very beginning of the level, it's where. Yeah. Um, and we went through them to get back to the other level, and we saw him. Well, we saw the creature, and we avoided it. Went the other way. No, you've not seen this creature that you been have. described, giant scorpion boy. Hundred percent, you're not. Again? Muriel. 
Because we were said, it was said, beware of Muriel when you go this Correct. way. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yep. the thing you've that we that, saw was not. Okay, so the thing we went that way. The thing we saw was not Muriel. You saw a thing. We were to the right. We were told the cardinal direction for where this scorpion guy would be, right? So no. If I look at the map from what we've already seen, I'm going to mm. ping it where I think that this creature might be, but I don't know. Around here. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Ping again. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Likely, I think. Is the from what from what you remember of this area, um, because you walked walked through some basically secret doors to get here, and then eventually found a gate that led you back to near enough. Um, it might have led you directly into the hidden um, these uh, heart of the mountain, which is exactly where you wanted to go at the time, because yeah. uh, Doomathorn had called Bertha. Yeah. Sorry, it's been a long time since you've been on this level. Mm-hmm. So recap that in that direction, I believe that um amber sent her back in that direction and she saw a number of like spirits and these spirits were like facing a spider and they were like it appeared they were crying and you saw a number of other corpses lying around of what appeared to be ventures and you were like fuck that and you went left instead and that's where you yeah. went through the gate in the room to the far left up on the up on the top of it there is um okay. there is a little gate there is that All the right. general direction that we, we need to rest. go we had, we had a rest in these two bedrooms at one point. Yeah, that's where Doomathoin mm. wasn't it in here or something. This How one. are people feeling about resting? I'm, I'm, pr- I'm pretty healthy. Okay. At the I'm pretty fucked, but I don't think we can. I think we. Come on. I've got reasonable health, but I could always do with some more key. Just I'm short fine. rest. Long rest is quite a while away. You had one. Yeah. Mm, th- five hours maybe ago when um you stayed with like how how ill are you um i'm on about 45 oh. hp oriana's on about 30 hp um and i'm quite low on spell slots as well um if i recast if i keep recasting oriana then i'll lose more hit die so i don't want to go basically i don't want to go below my average hit die unless it's like desperate times I'm okay to keep adventuring because I can stick to the back and dodge can be nice and not send people to the back line. Um, but <laughs> I, do I do as the, I do as the dungeon commands. Yeah, no, obviously, obviously, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's, uh, as I say, hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, um, the front line is a state of mind, Mister Collington. <laughs> Fair. You finish with your play. If there are things behind you, then you are the front line. <laughs> that is true. Uh, but yeah, okay. so I don't really right. need to rest. I'm okay, but I'll do all the else. I've been down, but I'm like, I'm fine. Compared to the HP of everyone else, I still have probably plenty. So. I can heal everyone. Do you still HP have is the problem. I'm about spell slots, so I think it's with the bigger yeah. issue. About the spell slots. I've got, um, I'm my couch. Oh, there we go. My couch is not working for me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing great on spell slots, I have to say, but um, I, I can't get the them back. Thing. I can't get them back into a long rest, so I'm, I've got no. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not in the best of states, to be honest. But do you think if we headed up to one of those bedrooms, we can't long can't, rest? Though, right? Can't really beat that, can we? We can only do that really in Skullport. No, well, we could wait into a long rest and cheat it, but. It doesn't sound very far. It's not the right thing to do. No, no I can, I could get, I could pop off a heal. I mean, who needs a heal right now? Um, I think Pete, Pete, Pete mainly. No, Pete, how much health do you need? Pete, how much health do you need? Um, I'd say I'm on about 40 HP at the moment. What do you usually have? What do you usually have? So, but I can go up to 95. 95. And when I get hit, I get hit fucking hard, so... Um, Nice. Right, well, I'm going to give you 40 health. 40? Yeah. Jesus. I feel like a charity case now, thank you. <laughs> nice. Enjoy. Enjoy your stone berries. Stone berries? If you want a short rest, I can create the tiny hut if you give me 10 minutes. I mean, a short rest is always handy with a key to build up my key points again. 
That's it. Why don't we just? I don't think it does a, much for other people. Why don't we just make a little bit of progress and then we can consider resting? Yeah. Um, right now we're in the middle of like Deathville. Yeah, this looks like a Death Valley type situation. Yeah, like okay. we killed those people here. I mean, if I put the hut up, that'd be pretty nice anyway. So. <laughs> Is there tea in the hut? So, well, there's water you know, breathing potion. As a strategy, <laughs> yeah. why don't we go north and explore some of the explore some of the rooms we've not been to before and. Yeah. Play it safe. Let's, let's try and let's go into formation. How high is this wall, Dodge? Uh, it's like own. 20 to 30 feet or so. Oh. Can Oriana, like, sort of lift. Ah, uh, my loader just crashed. Can Oriana Can just... lift it over? Excellent. Yeah, it, it's it's a um, athletic, uh, athletic uh, ser- not for Seraphina, but um, yeah, it's a athletic acrobatics you pick to climb up the wall. What if Oriana helps lift me over? Is it with advantage? Then you'll get advantage. Oriana won't. I can, uh, I can climb, I can fly up and do a rope if it's easier. Oh, you, you make it up fine. Up. Robin, you make it up fine. What do you need for me? Athletic uh, or dex or something? Uh, athletic or acrobatics, your choice. Yeah, you make it up fine. More fast, you barely make it up. Oh no, you have advantage. You spring up, no problem. You make it up fine. <laughs> She throws uh, you. Bear with me two secs. Just do Oriana. Where is she? Oh, she is. Bone horror. Bone horror. She's a horror. Just a uh, strength check with Oriana or... Con- oh, no, yeah. Strength check, right? Either or. Yeah. <laughs> a varying, at varying speeds, you will make it climbing <laughs> up the wall. Lovely. Thank you, Oriana. You beautiful beast. Let's go. So let's move forward, but best be careful. Don't run off. Oh yeah, Dodge, is the music playing right now? Yeah. Oh, oh it just says Ambience 10, so it's not really yeah. music. So it's it's not, 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 not actual music. Have you added the 40 no, HP? Every- oh yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone get into the staircase and I'll drag you to the right part of the map. Oh, please! Coming! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> leave her behind. <laughs> No one gets left behind. Don't leave me behind. Yeah, always the pirate's code. He came from the... Oh, God, you've got so far to go. Uh, this way, this way. North, north, and more north. You come back down into... I just fucking crashed at that point. Are you serious? You okay. son of a bitch. I was just dragging everyone. Sack of wine. Knows where we'll be. Yeah, right. Yeah, literally. Oh, my God, the you Scorpion could, King. You could be anywhere. The Scorpion King. Yeah. Alright. I'm sure it tastes really nice. Yeah, sorry. Right. I can't wait for you to get to him so I can start playing the Daft Punk music. <laughs> the Daft Punk music? Oh, Elliot sent that stupid video with the Daft Punk music. <laughs> Scorpio thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, game. Load back in. Alright. Oh, no, more water. Water? Yeah. Have this machine please. server up link. Water of life. Oh my god, roll 20. Why? Why is this? I don't know. And the Scorpion King graphics were so shit. Mm-hmm. How dare you? They hold up. They hold up. No, they don't. <laughs> Same way, like a it PS1. It looks amazing. This is remastered. There's, There's a really good video on YouTube, actually, where these professional special yeah. effects guys redo the scene in like a day. Yeah, 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 it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I, I, are they called the special effects artists? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Right, let's drag you over again. Take two. Oh, God, it's so bad. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> Drop. There's four, There's four Scorpion film, Scorpion King movies. Beautiful. That's all we all need. Three okay, two. you are now further to the northern area of the mappage. You are in a familiar, um, oh, yeah. like, kind of, uh, what do you call it? Mansion, I suppose, kind of? Temple mansion y thing? You know what's, you know it's what's a black palace. Is this where the statue of the. Yeah, of Mike Lord's Brown. Was. Charlie Brown. 
<laughs> My crown. All right, we said Charlie Brown. No. You, you My gave glasses. Gave <laughs> that to very spider this crown. There's Charlie Brown. Well, there we go. So. It's oh, it's still there. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, this. The uh, giant. Does this reaction. thing react in any way? The giant statue of Loth, no, it looks uh, exactly as it did the first time you saw it, except now it adorns a familiar looking crowd. They mm. want it back. No, you don't. It will be mine, oh yes. No, it won't. I could help, I could help uh, with a crown heist for a small nominal fee. <laughs> I have too much respect for Loth to try anything like that. Respect Loth, Loth. I just don't want to get fucked by the other lady. You have a crown. Nobody wants to get fucked by other ladies. Well, right. okay. speak, lady. speak for yourself. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Stand by what I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are we moving on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rapidly. <Quickly. laughs> More than one way. You can try. <laughs> this is where we rested in this room, I think, last time. Yeah, yeah. What's that noise? It's just like, like breaking, oh. breaking cobwebs. God fucking damn the crash. Is there a distinct sound for breaking cobwebs? Like a. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was more of a crack. Crackle. What cobwebs are you going through? What, can you hear the music? No. There was a, no there's there nothing. Yeah, I just... I, yeah, no, obviously, yeah, but now... I can hear the music, but it doesn't scare me. I, I had to turn it off and on cattle. again. I had to log in. Yeah, there was. No, so there no, was one, no, one attempt, no one attempts to disturb the Statue of Loth, right? No, no not we this We carry one. on past it. Hell no. Down the stairs. we go down... And we go down the stairs when I can. Oh, Jesus Christ, the lag is so hard. Uh, but yeah, oh, right. What yeah. is it with this? I reckon we've got a roll 20s going through problems. Maybe Thursday is like the big roll 29. We say that every it's time. Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Funny how it was Wednesday. Well, it before. really used okay. to be Wednesday, and now it's Thursday. Oh, it's everyone now, you're, Wednesday. now you're, you're a bit south now. Yeah. It will be when the but thing we actually be north. There you go. Yeah, but. That's where the stairs lead out. The thing is, that's lost all sense of like direction now that we're jumping around the place. Oh, there. oh well, fucking perfect. I was this is coming to this room. This isn't immersive. Dodge. Yes. You know what I'm gonna do. Oh, this okay. is. I remember He's discovering this place because all I did was just like lag out and follow, like watch Pete run off like fifty thousand miles off in the, fu in the future. Oh, this would be good for the lag. A million, a million skeletons are about to be made. <laughs> we have enough lag as it is, so this should I be I will wrong. be casting Animate Dead at level 5, please. Oh, this the is everyone. The lag generator. Uh, yeah. I cast Break. <laughs> How many did you get? A level 5? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I get minions, I think. Is that right? Am I calculating? Each slot a level above four. How many is it? How many is it? Okay, it's so level three. three. Yeah. One, about three, five. Yeah, so you get five skeletons. Yeah. Skeletons. Skeletons, yeah, cool. Well, I mean, it's a pile of bones. Yeah, cool, cool. No, just, just, just mm. checking. Don't want it, don't want it. Skeletons. 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 <laughs> skeletons. Everybody around here's got skeletons. 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 Even with skeletons. There you go, five skeletons. My minions. I mean, my friends. Yeah, I've got some skeletons. Skeletons. There we go. Now I can defend myself. <laughs> Meat. Bone shield. Yeah. Bone shield is ready. <laughs> right, let's head up. Let's head up. Alright, I think it's this way. Oh, sorry, right, isn't it? Yeah. Very dark in here. I'm a bit scared. There's a the room with Welcome the to the disco lights. They're still going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We need more. We need more strobe to to sort the weak oh. <laughs> on our viewers. 
Wow. Why have done this? <laughs> you have a window. You People are going to be looking in like that. <laughs> Xbox fatal memory exceeded. So that is quite hard to focus on anything. Yeah. It's, it's very bright. It's lights. <laughs> Literal torture. I think I'm geek growing epilepsy. Yeah, I'm, I'm with the group. I'm just reloading. Um, uh, I told you the skeletons would crash. Oh my god, like, <laughs> everything is so slow. I can't even like drop my character sheets. It's so I've, I've lost everyone but Robin. I right. think it's that level. Is... Uh, we're over here. That's because Robin. Oh, I'm here. Bling, bling. Oh, I see. Bling. I can't... To the right. I can't let go of my. Yeah. These poor viewers have got me like trying to get rid of the character sheet. I'm like shaking it. <laughs> These poor viewers. Think of the viewership. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna have such poor quality. They're gonna get. We slow the lights down. We're gonna have an epilepsy warning on this episode, Dodge. There we go. Right. I'm back in the room. Okay. The way is shut. The way is shut. Oh, is it? That's a shame. Well, there's a door. It looks like there's a door there. Oh, we can see through the door though. I assume it's open. Cool. All right. Let's go. What? Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, you said it was shut, and I was like, oh, that door you obviously didn't open, but this, you fucking, what the fuck? Oh, avoid the blue, avoid blue light. light. Avoid the blue light, don't step into the light. What's the blue Why light? Why not? Why not? Because it's bad, I remember. Oh, is this the oh, one that made me um, gabble like an idiot? It shows cum stains. <laughs> <laughs> Kate just lit up like a light bulb. <laughs> 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 Athena <laughs> steps into the light. <laughs> We're all blind. <laughs> oh, I don't know who's been cheesing all over me. <laughs> I was going to say good comeback, but. Uh... <laughs> we don't know what you do when you go to that hand wrap place, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I've told you what hand I do. Wrap. I meet a guy and I punch well, it. You've told us, but what we just don't really just know. Happened. We just do a lot you of fisting. You just lift oh. the shadows or something. Pardon? The whole map just oh, changed map. for me. Oh. Like, all the shadows are gone. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> There's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 slow down. Is this a room just with bones? On the floor? Yes, this is a room. Hey, this is right. a room with I'm bones. Floating. Has a I'm floating. I'm <laughs> floating through this one. Um, can I please, whilst we're in this room, can I just do the investigation? Once more. I feel like there, there was something in this room and we missed it. Can I look for secret doors or secret, like, trap doors on the floor? Roll me. Well, I mean, the floor is completely covered in bones. Like, as you stand on it, or if you do or don't. You don't. Yeah. No, but the rest of them, you can see their feet kind of shift around like sand. Uh, maybe an investigation check. Oh, fuck. Eleven. Uh, nothing obvious springs to mind as you dig through, you know, bones and look at the walls. There's nothing, uh, no obvious funny business going on here. Yeah. Right, well, there's something in this room. I know there is. You're tickling all, all our friends on the floor, you strange person. <laughs> I'm looking for secrets. There's this room and there's something about it. There's something in that room. That yeah, sense. there's a lot of friends in here. That is what I can determine. Oh, you've all gone really far. Oh, sorry. I I got logged out, so I assume I'm with the group. Okay. Yeah, we're here. Whoa! Whoa! I fucked up! I don't know what I fucked up. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah, 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 I fucked up. Literally, moment to have a week. Oh my god, the whole room is moving! Oh god, spoilers. please. Con <laughs> please, control Z back. Oh no, that is. Don't possibly... ever press control Z in roll 20, man. That's not a cool thing. Oh god, this is horrendous. I need yeah, to. It's this is no well, It's not, no, quite, it's, it's it's not quite back. Yeah, yeah, it needs to go a little bit different. <laughs> Just a little bit. No peeking, people. We made a blunder. Sorry, I already saw it. I'm Me sorry. too. Yeah. Okay, I think we're uh, in the right place. Uh, secret doors? <laughs> there are no secret doors, sir. No! Oh, <laughs> I saw it, it's right there. <laughs> Make me an investigation roll. Well, I'm gonna. You, you just watch. I'm gonna I'll... help. Yeah, she's gonna help. It's gonna okay. be the most perfect investigation roll. <laughs> oh, stupid Firefox, fucking work for me, please. Um, 
Investigation row. You have no reason to believe that there's anything suspicious going on. Uh, that well, Oriana, in frustration, thumps her head against that particular wall. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> I think there's another way into that room. Where is Oriana? Oriana, yeah, you've deleted her. I haven't. <laughs> well, you, you, forgot, you, have. forgot, you forgot to bring her. No, she's right. I can see her. Where is she? You forgot, you forgot to bring her along. Where? Oh, you had, you were with your new friends and you abandoned her. <laughs> Where is she? she? She was by the what oh, the, the blue light statue. Oh yeah, well there we are. Oh god, she's coming. Oh shit. Oh, okay, she flew. She flew through that secret room that I don't know about. You don't know about it. <laughs> well you don't. You didn't roll high enough. There it is. I mean, I didn't have to roll high enough. <laughs> I got a vision <laughs> from You you Pete, Peter Collington knows there's a secret room there, but Morthos <laughs> doesn't. He has no idea. Fine. It doesn't matter, it's cool. We would never have investigated the way to be it's a real shame because there's a lot of shit, man. Well, oh, fuck you. <laughs> so, um, a curious reminder of what's going on here. There are a number of shattered glass mirror hearts mm. scattered all over the floor in this area with a lot of old mirror, um, what would you call them? Like insets, basically. You know that there is a secret door right here yeah. that leads to the start of the wizard's Six level. Place. The other sixth level. Oh no! Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. Even though the secret door isn't technically on the map now, you know it's there, so it's basically. Can we have a schedule, please. We haven't been this way. No, we haven't been that way. Just go that way quickly. Come, okay. um, friends, we must go down here. Okay. I do like to go. Okie doke. Very brave. Who first? Oh, we are going that way. Okay. I will bravely allow everyone else to go first. Well, what, do oh, what do we see, Dodge? Yeah, ah! A great hall. You see uh, three 20 foot, or long, uh, 20 foot or so long tables carved from a black stone material that stretch from west to east. Uh, around each of them sit around a dozen cast iron chairs sculpted with web and spider motifs. Against the northern wall near the, uh, near the double door, is a pile of wreckage. Oh, well, let's go and investigate. Oh, mm. wreckage! It's like looks like a smashed up cabinet or fallen over oh. cabinet. Um, yeah. Approach it cautiously. It might be a mimic. Does someone with a mage hand want to investigate? The door. Sure, I'll give it a <laughs> rustle. Oriana starts stacking the chairs on the tables. <laughs> Why? Is she having some kind of mental break? Can. The skeletons help as well, so by the end of it, all the chairs are going to be stacked on the tables in a neat way. It was like skeletons, up. skeletons. Making as much noise as I'll, possible. I'll, I'll mage hand this cabinet. Okay, well. you just dive the mage hand in. Give it a rustle. Uh, yeah, give it a rustle. Yeah, give it a rustle. Open the doors a bit, you know, slammy. I'm going to give I mean, it a crow. Nothing, nothing really happens. You just rustle around the wreckage. Is it? Can we see? The mage, the mage hand has no eyes. I will, uh, in that case, can I check for traps, please? Mm -hmm. Doesn't appear to be any traps. No traps, no traps but I'm no. still not going to open it, friends. Why not? I'm leaving that honor for you. Well, I'll, I'll, I can just order a skeleton to do it. Okay. Yeah. Hugo, yeah. it's time for you to open the door. Off you Look go, Hugo. Off you go, Hugo. Hugo, Very good that pick. is his name. That is what he is called. Hugo. The, the skeleton, on the the skeleton fully opens the two doors that are cabinet. One falls off the hinge as it opens. Um, I mean, the skeleton can't see, but there's nothing obvious. You peer over. It appears that there's like quite a lot of like black and old uh, like silverware in here. Nothing appearingly of value that you can see from the safe distance that you're standing in. Can I just take a little step forward and do? Can I just look, please? Yeah, perception check, please. Uh, there's nothing obvious that you can see in the basically pile of knives and forks and spoons. Okay. Cool. Nothing in there. It's a big dining room. How bizarre. How bizarre. 
more like a dying. Oh, really? a... Uh, check the room for secret doors. Have we done that yet? No. I'm going, I'm to, I'm going to check down here. And I will check up here. We should inspect our way through here. We must be cautious. Mm. Inspect every room. <laughs> every, every brick. Should we all need to do an investigation roll if we're doing an investigation? <laughs> someone, someone do it with advantage. There we go. Can I start can casting? More do it with advantage. <laughs> can I start casting what? Um, ritual, um, detect ritual. magic, please. Whilst they're all yeah. banging on. So they're all. They, they spend a good amount of time searching around. You find no evidence of any secret doors. Um, uh, just the doors to the you know the eastern side of the room, the double stone doors. Uh, ten minutes pass after ritual uh, detect magic. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Just okay. a room. And right. I'm just gonna walk around the room, so I'm getting the thirty feet. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, looking around the room, you don't see anything apart from the, you know, the stuff that you have on you and etc. Yep. There's no. Uh, no. Okay, I communicate this to my fellows that there's nothing magical going on. Here. Thank you. If it's okay with everyone, I will send pickles here to open door. Yeah, well, sure. cool. Okay. Yeah. All right, pickles. You go open door. Good boy. Pickles opens the door. Oh, can you fine. make me a can you make me a strength check with the skeleton, please? Oh, pickles uh, is yeah. What's the skeleton? Pickles. Oh, uh, the door is too heavy for the skeleton to move. It's just pushing against it, and it's um <sighs> not. not, hey, not Esmeralda, good. you go help pickles. <laughs> what names have you given them? Esmeralda is helping pickles open door. Probably another one with advantage, please. Oh, for goodness' sake! Uh, so I'm using alternative <laughs> um, browser. So I'm a little slow. There we go. Fifteen. Yep. Just about with the help of the two skeletons, it starts to slowly creak open as the stone hits the floor and goes onto wood, which is a new floor type for here. Everything else has been like this purple hued stone. Oh, and I should probably open the door, be a good idea. Bedding. One Whoa. skeleton. Two skeletons. Whenever you say you go and open the door, Hugo looks up going, Yes? Yeah. <laughs> is that me? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, Hugo, what's, it was your turn. It was Pickles and Esmeralda's turn. What's more depressing is they're fully under his control, so he makes that joke to himself and then doesn't <laughs> do it. <again>. Yeah. <laughs> the mad mutterings of someone who has lived down here for far too long. Um, A mad mage, some would say. One of many, it seems. <laughs> A mad mage? Perhaps. <laughs> if I was... Ah, oh, welcome. Stop Go here. So... Please. Go forward. From what you see in your northern direction, three battered wooden wood tables, sorry, three battered wooden work tables, several rusty looking utensils, uh, utensils and several wooden cabinets that have splintered and are fragmented lie throughout the room. Um, to the eastern side appears to be a quite large stone fireplace. Sorry, not the eastern side, the western side. I can't do directions. Uh, and that is all you can see right now. So we'll leave it there. Dodge, I still have Detect Magic going. Is there anything pinging? Give me a minute. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Du -du -du. My penis. <laughs> Where are we? My <laughs> magic penis. It's... I look at Robin and look at What's this at the top? <laughs> Hold on, let me... I just need to do something. No. Uh, nothing yet. Um... Serafina, you've got a bit northerly north, scary stuff. You see uh, an alcove in the northern wall contains a um, around 10 foot diameter open well. Well? Well, well, well. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Hey, that was fucking awful. As I'm moving around, <laughs> you my spidey sense to pick up any magic. <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah. I uh, 3D printed a well today. Look at that. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> well, 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 um, well, 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 no, you, no, <laughs> you cannot see any magical things yet. I just said huh? that one. What? I said well done already. No. I did. <laughs> oh my god. How could you, Elliot? You nicked it. Joke stealer. Yeah, I said it louder, so it's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Giant hole in the ground. <laughs> uh, water. 
Is this like a fireplace, chimney breath situation? Yes. I stick my head in. Have a look. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it uh, appears to be. Uh, it's a well used or previously well used fireplace. Is the well well used? I mean, I don't know. How do you determine if a well is well used? Is it moist? <laughs> is it moist? <laughs> <laughs> If you want to find out if the hole is moist, you're going to have to dip, dip, put something dip, in it to find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I will I do that. Float over the well, <laughs> making sure not to touch it to see if I can see what's down it. Something um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, you float over the well in an interesting move. Um, from what you can see, it just goes down and down and dark. Whereas you can't see. I, mean, I do like a big gobbet of spit and just let it drop and listen to hear how deep it goes. Yeah, three or four seconds pass and then you hear a bloof. I could literally walk down the side of the well and back up again. This is true. Really, if you really wanted to figure out, uh, but I don't know if there's anything down there. I'm a bit scared. Oh, I thought I thought you'd just be willing to jump in. Uh, not really. I can send my bat send down. My bat. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I take out Barry from a little pat on the head and ask him to go down the well. Uh, cool. The <laughs> the bat dive bombs down the well, um, and kind of reaches the end of the tether before. You know, it's going to break. Um, no obvious sign of ending. Okay, so oh, it's deeper uh... than 100 feet. Easy to make that assumption, yeah. You, okay. uh, you guess. And can Barry detect anything down there with his echo oh, location make sensor? Me... Uh, make me a perception check. As the bat. Am I doing As it? As the I... bat. Push. As a bat. It's a D20. No, can you stop? Can we not have them so flashy? I'm just a flashy guy, alright? Can I listen out for, here, for stuff I can anything I can hear down there as well because the bat has keen hearing. Hear it. I still haven't seen a perception check, but much yeah, in the future. Dan, uh, no, nothing obvious. You, it does the echo location thing, but it doesn't appear that this well has ended. Yeah, um, nothing obvious on the walls. They're, you know, just wet stone. Okay, any, like, so in the 100 foot length, are there any, like, um, tunnels going out of the well or, or any, like, I don't know. Um, is there a ladder going down? Is there any stones out of place? Or does it just look like a simple well? Not with a tan. Can't see anything with a tan. Okay. Uh, shall I, do, shall okay. I just go down and have a little look? I call Barry back call and explain I didn't see anything. Maybe we tie, tie a rope around you? Just in case. Be a wise idea. Alright. Let's do that. Alright. Tie a rope around me. Do we have enough rope? I have 50 foot of rope. I have some rope. Yeah, I have 50 foot of rope too. Well, that's well. There's nothing. Yeah. Well, I've got fifty foot as well. So if we knot them together, that'll be one hundred and fifty. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'll go down the well. That can get through any hole. So, how many bits of rope are we tying here together? Three. Three. So one hundred and fifty foot. <laughs> okay, you mission impossible, Seraphina, down the well. When, <laughs> Seraphina, when do you stop? Uh, beyond well. Can we use I'll, your muscles for this, please? I will go to. I'll go to the hundred foot, I guess, and then take it much slower. Okay. Investigating as I go, foot. I will continue down. Tor torch lit, you can see, and it just goes to darkness and blackness. Um, going down a hundred foot, still looking down into darkness and blackness. Is that it? What do you do? I keep on going. Okay. So you go 150 foot before you hear, you fall, feel like the, 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 I don't know who's holding onto the rope, but the tug of, so that's it, I... that's your limit. Um, Make me a okay. perception check. Hopefully Bertha's holding on. That's a... Just, I, mean, I, can, I am walking on the wall, guys, so that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a safety net. Just darkness. Mm. Safety net. I didn't realise we were making a net. 
I bet okay. it's better when you can feel the walls. Stop it. <laughs> Surely that would come under an invest. If, if I do an investigation, is that the same thing? A what, sorry? If I did an investigation like around that area, is that the same thing as a perception? Uh, what are you trying to? What are you trying to ascertain? Well, the, ga- the same thing that Barry was trying to ascertain: whether there's you know any gaps in the wall, any stones out of shape, any. I mean, I got. Like, yeah, I'll say, m- yeah, I'll, or... I'll say, make me an investigation check. You could have been looking while you're going down. Um, the DC would be harder for sure. Nothing obvious. It's wet stone. It goes down for a long, long time, and now you like look back up and you just see the dim light of. Uh, well, actually, there's no light above you because everyone else has dark vision. It's just darkness either end, and your torchlight. Um, I can't use my card now, can I? Because I haven't did it. I have to. I had to do it before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll go up again then. Go back up again. Mhm. Okay. And down again. To. In and out. You climb back up all the way up. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, a few minutes pass for the rest of your horn of the rope, and then ten minutes later or so, you see Serafina appear back. Nothing. I went as far as the rope down could there. go, and I met nothing. I went down 150 feet. There was I couldn't see anything. Um, <clears throat> I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't. You know, there was nothing that I could notice. Why don't we Sorry, throw guys. this this bucket? Why don't we just drop it down? The bucket. Let's, let's, let's drop the bucket down. I've heard a fool of a toop did this once and it was very effective at drawing out drawing out enemies. But it seems that no one can penetrate this hole. Stop it! I mean, I think it's pretty deep. <laughs> you, take three, you take enter any hole. You take three points of force damage as the, <laughs> the, the joke power just kills you a little bit. Thanks, Dodge. That's pretty good, okay. Well, if I, can... be, I feel like it should be psychic damage. Just... Yeah. <laughs> oh. damage. It's because it's the hole that it's force damage. I will take. I'll take five. I'll take five psychic damage <laughs> on my soul. I'm sure, it's poison damage. It depends. That's it. That's I'm immune to poison. So. I'm, I'm going to drop the bucket down. Oh, and, yeah! and as it goes, you throw the bucket down. Don't, don't, don't. No. Three, did four I, seconds pass. Did I awake something in ten, the deep? Ten seconds pass. Wow. Thirty seconds pass. Guys, that was an accurate throw. I know. There were a few sounds of, you know, tink, tink, as it kind of centered, and then you expect to hear a kasploosh. Nothing. Do we not hear a barrel? It's longer? a bottomless pit. Barrel? It does go straight into hell, though. Maybe it goes right down to various levels. Maybe it's just throwing myself down there is very great, but I'm going to avoid it. As you're speaking amongst yourselves, there is a flash of blue light above the well and a familiar-looking, like, blue ethereal eye that you've seen in a few places before kind of appears looking like scattering looks between the four of you at the front. I like drop oh. to the floor and put my hands over my head like this. <laughs> and then a few seconds later, it just vanishes out of existence. Where did we oh. last see that eye? I've um, seen that in a long time. Mm-hmm. I, I just can't remember. Is it Hallister's eye? I'm sure it's Hallister's eye. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a thrall of dice for Elliot, so that. <laughs> <laughs> Which means this is his whole. I just want I just want someone to come out of the hole and just drag him <laughs> and into a new character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper wee yeah. Hopper also dies somehow. Uh, <laughs> chemical um, explosion. I did. Well look, I think we've um, lingered around the hole too long now. I feel like the hole is a dead end. Um, can I look and um, along like the back wall and the um, like sort of lining of the <laughs> chimney if there's any secret doors or caverns or holes? Make me an investigation, bro, please. 
Uh, looking around the fireplace and around the wall, you don't see any obvious signs of any secret doors or anything. Like that. And the fireplace looks relatively normal. Okay. Let's move on. I don't think we've explored this well enough. I think this just gets to the arse end of nowhere, frankly, so we maybe need to move on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Katie's just like... <laughs> No. <laughs> did did anyone look up this fireplace? Yeah, Bertha did. Yeah. Bertha just did it. Oh, okay. Investigating it, but oh. she's all right. I'm... Oh. 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 Okay. I I I think I angered <laughs> God. <laughs> God, okay. forgive what me. Is this? I'm mini. It's tiny. I'm mini now. Yeah, you you have one HP. Um. <laughs> In here, you see uh, three tall cabinets of a dark wood standing against the walls. Um, they have glass doors, and ugh, surprise, surprise, they're in a sort of web and spider motif. Um, there is a stone table in the middle of the room, which is covered with, like, basically adventuring gear. And because of Katie's Detect Magic, Katie, you notice that there is a slight glow, slight glow coming from under the table. <gasps> Ooh. And looking under the table, you see a chest. <gasps> hey, you get this chest. Can you mage hand it open? I'm going to first go up to it and check for traps, please. Very gingerly. I think it's magic. It's, magic. it's kind of pulsating. Get a step back here. The, the, the chest does not appear to be trapped. However, it is not appear to be trapped. Before you open the chest, Janine's going to grab the chest and place it on the table. However, it is locked. Yeah. Oh, it's locked. There's a quite large padlock. Can Janine... I would like to use my mage hand to attempt to lockpick the lock. Do you believe okay. in magic? Roll me a... Uh, roll me a thing. It's next door's light on, but not in. Okay. One second, please. Is, is, is PC Pete going to do some luring? He's going to do some <laughs> neighborhood investigation. There's a light Arrest. on the way, but I'm pretty sure it's just a garden light. That has yeah, a it is just garden light. Yeah. Criminals! 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 Get on my watch! It's his. Uh, Sir, well, get out of here with this! Uh, well, if I can't protect my neighbor, who can I protect? <laughs> this is true. Yeah. That's one okay, one. Chingo, you ping open the lock. Um, not specifically saying mage hand, which was delightful for me. Is this chest? Mage I could say mage hand. Did mage hand. Oh, did you? Okay, that's a shame because you would have been really, you would have been, you would have been really, 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 you would have been really, really hurt in that. However, there are two skeletons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. I was checking for outside real life. <laughs> That's not oh, no. oh, that's bollocks. Oh, no. notice, notice how yeah. far away I am on the map. <laughs> the padlock springs open by the mage hand, and as it does, the chest explodes with this like black, uh, dark energy. Wait, where'd the skeletons go? They were right there. Because they would have They got away. vaporized. <laughs> they would have moved they got away. Vaporized, they would have away, man. Janine's not that stupid. She's she's very close. She doesn't have a brain. She does. She doesn't use it very often. And Joffrey, I mean, you know, he's obviously very clever as well. Hey, the chest is now open. <laughs> uh, would anyone like to look in? Um... After you, please. Can I see anything from here? Right, can I fly above it? Yeah. Can you even see over can the edge of the it? table? Is Good it? point. I'll go. Well, I, 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 I don't mind. Can I see anything? Oh, you're going. I'm so. doing it. So you walk up to the chest. You see um, there are five flasks.
three and oh do a little bit of repeat <laughs> i will re i will repeat there are five flasks of this like orange bubbling liquid um <laughs> there... mm -hmm. what what's going on here Charlie's posted an iron brew picture <laughs> okay beautiful um there is a quite large sack of what appears to be spell material components, and there are three black onyx gemstones. Which one, Which if one anything, is giving off magic? Can I walk up and have a look? Interestingly, the chest. The chest is giving off magic. How big is this chest? Uh, two, foot, two, two foot by one foot with like a curvy lid. Curvy lid. Okay. Uh, I relayed to the group that none of the items that are in themselves magical, but the chest oh. appears to be magical. I am brave. Yeah. Five vials of iron brave. Cool. Does anyone, Does anyone have, have, like, alchemical knowledge? <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bag of material spell components. Right um, next to this, if you're keeping them right, it's uh, level 10, 5C. I probably won't, like, if it's alchemy stuff, then that probably won't be right place, right time to use it. Yeah, how yeah, full, is full is the bag of holding? Bag of holding? Uh, I don't know. I think it's getting It no there. longer has all the clothes in it. You dump them. So, uh, fairly, you know, it's got could a lot we, of space in it. Could we put the chest in the bag of holding, please? I think it's got some value. Is it some magical item? Mm, don't touch it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, describe this. Does anyone have the power to work out what it is charmed with? Can I do like an arcana check or something, Gorge? Yeah, maybe an arcana check, but you know it's magical, but without identifying it, it's going to be quite difficult. Yeah. I'm not really paying attention, so I have chest no idea what it is. <laughs> chest magic. It's a magic chest, that's all I know. Only arcane users can identify, but you have enough of them, so yeah. Arthur, have you got the bag, wherever you are? Can't see on the map. No problem. I guess, why is it there? <laughs> yep, yeah, you, you put the chest in the bag holding, no problem. Add a um, add magic chest, level 10 5C to the bag holding. You have the bag of holding. I do, I do, I do. Magic I do. chest! Level 10. If it is badly trapped, we could always uh, be, like you know use it as a booby trap. Yeah. yeah. That is true. It is very true. That'd be pretty funny. Magic chest. Magic chest. I help Elliot's character search for secret rooms. Get it. There do not appear to be any secret doors in this room. Rude. Right. 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 Oh, All right, well, I guess we keep going because there is more to explore. I wonder how far it goes down. It goes to it feels like levels. we disturbed Hallister, so maybe it goes all the way down into Hallister's central core. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, we definitely don't have enough rope. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think we need to drop. We well... need a bigger boat. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I wouldn't risk saying that. <laughs> I wouldn't risk thinking that. Would I? Yeah. 
Go on. What are you chucking? Yep, sweet. Okay, so you throw the piece of shelf down there and um, you hear it like clatter across the sides for a bit, like dig, dig. Three, four seconds in, you're a sploosh. We had a sploosh before. Yeah, um, Chingo spat in it. Spat, spat, yeah. Yeah. When he was floating above it. Bye. There was she no didn't see anything, just because maybe she didn't go down far enough. No. Hmm. Be I'd be willing to fly down. I, I think the eye thing is just too alluring. I'm just gonna I will go wait. down, but last. You know, <laughs> Can I climb down? <laughs> just bear in mind that bear in mind that this is a ten foot wide hole. Like giant wingspan bird would not be able to fly down it. Go down as a normal bird. <laughs> I mean, you, <laughs> you have, I'm not sure on the size of a killer whale, but you, I mean, <laughs> this was a mistake. This was a mistake. I fucked up real bad. <laughs> so. Please carefully describe what your plan is right now. <laughs> Anyone's plan. <laughs> With rope, without rope. Okay. Wait, I've got an explorer's pack. Does an explorer's pack it's got rope in it, doesn't it? Um, I think it's got probably. like 30 foot or something, isn't it? Right. I have a rope. So I can give you rope too. Okay. So 300, 300 feet. feet of rope. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Double the distance. Wow. So who's going down? Just you? Therapy, you know, yeah. I'm going down. I'm going down too. Okay, I need to check Chingo's wings. How are you getting down? I can fly. Yes, I know you can, but I just want to know what the how what the length of time is on these. I think it's four hours a four day. Four hours. Yeah, four hours a day, I'm pretty sure. You haven't done much flying recently. So I only use it when I need to. Winged boots. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, you can use four hours. Okay, cool. No worries. <laughs> Just bear in mind if you, you know, fall down and you actually do hit the floor, then, you know, you take the full damage. Which will then hit the creature you are, and then overkill onto you. <laughs> so, like, if you if, <laughs> this, this is this is a famous critical roll move where you know a <laughs> druid jumps off of a cliffside a thousand feet, and then because it's water, decides to turn into a fish. But the fish isn't, you know, as someone said, magnetically attracted to water. So when the fish hits the water, the fish takes one damage, and the person playing the druid takes. 300 and something damage and gets one hit <laughs> and gets one banged like that. I need to watch that. I still need to watch yeah, it. and it's a famous clip where he says, this, this is crazy, like a fish turned into a corpse. <laughs> because that's how it basically looks. 
I'll send you a link to it later. It's great. Yeah, okay. I'll allow it. When do you... When do you... Okay, so... Okay. At what distance do you decide to turn into an owl? <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, yeah. At what, at what approximate, what you consider to be distance, you turn into an owl? <laughs> fine, yeah. So he's already in. So you're 50 foot down, and the pure darkness of it scares you, so you turn into an owl. You are now a floating, flying owl in this it's quite tight, you know, wingspan for an owl, but you're, you're, you're managing. Don't owls um, fly, just to be... I have no idea. You tell me. No, they can fly. They can fly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared. I mean, my, na my nature stuff isn't top, but I'm a little scared. I mean, have you ever, has Morthos ever been out of the dungeon? Has he no, even I'm seen not, an I'm owl? not talking about Morthos. I'm just a bit sceptical about the ability of an owl to I mean, fly who's teaming you on here, man? <laughs> No argument. Eh? Could be disabled. <laughs> it might be disabled in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, so the rest of you are going down the hole. Who is wait? An owl who is. I'm at a good, thing. safe distance away from these guys. Okay. I'm. I'm not going down the hole at this point. Me I'm... and uh, me and the skeletons and Oriana are doing Farish Acker in canon. Robin, how far did you go? You're first, so how far did you go? You I mean you did a you did a fifty foot swan dive, so you've got quite a lead. Okay, you keep going down and down and down. A hundred foot, hundred and fifty foot, two hundred foot, three hundred foot, still down, four hundred. Mm. Ten minutes past oh, six, seven hundred. Still going. Yeah, yeah. Still what are the rest of you guys doing on this passage of time? The hour has now been gone for around twenty minutes. Me and me and me and the undead gang have written a new musical called Nobody to Go With. Um, that's, that's what we're up to. I'm starting to get a bit it's, uh, concerned as I'm going down, so perhaps I uh, shout, shout to um, Robin. Uh, Robin. Uh, perhaps we think about turning around. <laughs> Serafina, what do you think? Oh, Serafina, you're 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 way up in way up in the sky. You reach 300 foot of rope, and um. Yeah, they are just continuing, floating down in their various ways. Right, I, t I turn around. I'm going back up. This is too spooky. <laughs> Mr. Owl, I'll see you at the top. Okay. As an estimate for you, about 800 feet. <laughs> okay. You continue going down. 900. Thousand. What are you looking for? Yeah, roll me, roll me a perception check. You see, yeah, roll me, roll me a perception check. There is no light down here whatsoever. The distance is quite high up so far that it's kind of. Well, there's no light up there apart from Seraphina's torch, so it's like a speck, like a candle, very far away. It's this little flicker, and down it just goes black and continues. Not with that six, no. The, I'll say the flapping of your wings uh, is distracting and echoes through the chamber. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so <laughs> for fuck's sake as you um, 
<laughs> you go back up, Serafina and uh, Chingo. You make it up, no problem. Robin. Uh oh. Around three hundred foot from the surface, where you can see the flickering light, a you're going as fast as you can as a like ball of blue light, familiar to what you've just seen around half an hour, forty five minutes ago at this point, uh, looks directly at you. As you rock it upwards, you fly through it, and the eye 180 spins quite rapidly to like watch you keep going. Like your wings. You flap your wings as you were. <laughs> yeah, sure. You fly a bit further. Looks like a big blue, uh, blue eye, basically. It's a theory. It's a. Theory. It doesn't. It, it, it makes no sound. You can fly through it. You already have. It's, it basically takes up the whole, um, like the whole, what you call it, diameter of the, the whole. Okay. You fly through it and a few seconds pass for it. Okay, yeah, you come to the top. You are now. Okay, I um, I notice that Robin's come back up and I go, Hey Robin. What did you see? In awakened mind. Is there strange. another? Is there another bucket around, Dodge? There's no other bucket, but there's plenty of other debris around. Like a, I am. Um, like I re a, I relay what I Robin relay just what? told me to mm. the rest of the group. Like a. Hit me. Like is there like a cup or a like basin shaped? No. No, no carvings or runes or words or anything. Um, cups or I don't, not really. No. Um, anything that could hold water. You have water skins. All of you do. Well, yeah, but I don't want to use that. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. You could use a skull. Well, I'm thinking if we attach the rope to something that can hold water, and we throw it down the well, then it will potentially be hit the water and then we can scoop up whatever mystical water this is in the well. Yeah. Which to me suggests at the moment that it's random rather than anything else. But it seems to react yeah. It's random until it's a living creature, then it seems to be endless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bucket went all the way down. Although you do make a good point, Elliot. Um, can we somehow attach one of my skeletons to a rope? <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. Oh yeah, it's another thing. Mm. Science. Mm. Um. Yeah, let's give that a go. Uh, attach. Let's attach. I tell you what. Let's attach a plank of wood to the rope and throw the rope down. And then, if the wood comes back up and it's wet, then we know we're onto something. Cool. 
All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that, Dodge, please. What are you planning tie, to do here? Tie, a rope, uh, tie the rope to a plank of wood, like debris, you know, shelf or whatever. What and about then... distilton or de cheddar? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Hey. And then, that's, uh, five, that's five psychic damage to you, <laughs> And then uh, throw the rope down. Uh, sorry, not the rope. Throw the debris that's attached to the rope down the well. Okay. And see if it makes a splash. Uh, so you throw it over. Um, the rope just like, you know, starts to slowly unwind while you keep hold of it. Uh, and then five to six seconds in after it's grinding on Hawaii, it's. Pull it out. Okay, you pull. Um, yeah. Twenty seconds or so go by. You pull it out, and you have a wet piece of wood. And ah, <laughs> see, so it it does get wet. The mystery is cracked wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you suggesting anything, Amber. I'm buying my time. <laughs> No. All right, um, it, Dodge. When um, it's animate, it's splash, and when it's inanimate, it not. Or well, is this it is the next. Other... Yeah, this is the next theory I'm testing. Dodge, will you allow me to tie one of my skeletons to the rope? And does your thing have a range? Uh, that is a good question. I don't know. You can use a bonus action. You can use a bonus action to mentally command any creature you make with this. Well, that's good to know. Feet. I didn't know that. 120 this, feet. Not 60 feet. No, 120. You can use a bonus action to mentally command any creature you made with this spell if the creature oh, is 60 feet of you. My bad. I'm... Bonus action, but yeah, well. Yeah, I've always used it as a bonus action. Uh, so you know that within 60 feet, the connection will break and the skeleton will be. Um, a skeleton, <laughs> a normal skeleton. Um, but I also know that Oriana is 120 foot. So well, do I want to risk Oriana? Height squeeze for the bone horror. Not going <laughs> to. And she's a quite heavy beast. How dare you? That is rude. That's a good shout. Let's do that. I like that idea. Dodge, we're doing that. You untie a bit of rope and you tie it to one of the skeletons, so it's a very confusing kind of scenario. I mean, the um, skeleton isn't looking confused. The skeleton is still dancing. I'm going to go and have a rest on the table at this point. <laughs> okay. We, um, you tie the skeleton and you you kind of, like, throw it? No, the skeleton freely does a little dance and then jumps off, like, in a dramatic fashion. But basically thrown. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's one of okay. the acts. It's one of the scenes you, from the new musical. You abseil, you abseil the skeleton down 50 feet. No sploosh. No, no sploosh. Mm. No nothing. Okay. Mm. What if he comes up and goes straight back down again? Will there be sploosh? Yeah. Let's pick him back up. He's still dancing on the little rope of his. Joffrey okay. is as well. Whilst this, and, is going, uh, whilst this is all going on, I fancy a I cup of water-breathing water tea breathe. just in case we have to go and face some water. So I'm going to brew up enough tea for everybody, please. Yeah, thank you. Nice. Just in case, as a ritual. Thank you. You, you, you can just breathe. You can make tea. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's Great. a ritual. I'm deciding to make it into a tea ceremony. Yeah. No. I'm guessing no sploosh. If we repeat. No, sp no, no sploosh. Is that a ritual spell? Yep. Yep. Water breathing is a ritual spell. Wow. Oh. Do you not need yeah. like ingredients? No. no. I did not know this. This is news to me. Okay. Hello, I'll tag. All right then. So never mind. Um, my theory is kaput. We're we're looking for. Oh, sorry. I was going to say we're looking for the skeleton guy. Anyway, I don't think he's down here. <laughs> not going to lie. The scorpion guy. Scorpion guy, sorry, not scorpion guy. Yeah. yeah. The scorpion guy might know. That's true. 
I don't know. It was a wish you know. Make a wish. <laughs> Sorry, did you say? Did you oh. say? Did you, did you oh, grab I my see. <laughs> Elliot Averson, the Meta Owl, I see. Hmm, yeah, that's so interesting. I take a platinum coin and um, I flick it into the well. Very nice. Making, tasty. Making the wish that I could have five more skeletons. Sorry, five more friends. <laughs> uh, the, you hear the platinum piece. You hit the you hit the, the platinum piece swing through the air, bounce off the wall a couple of times, sploosh. A few seconds later. Then Where are my skeletons? What's the platinum piece? Maybe it's not a wishing one. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money. Tea, anyone? Tea? anyone? Tea? Water tea? breathing tea? So anyone who drinks the tea has the ability to breathe water for twenty four hours. Sorry, there's no uh, no biscuits, but enjoy the tea. I'd love a refreshing cup of tea, thanks. Maybe the Scorpion King has biscuits. <laughs> oh, Dodge, did, did, did we inspect these cabinets? Uh, I don't believe... No, you didn't. Can I have a sneaky peek through the glass just to have a look what's in them? Yes. Um, I just don't. No, it doesn't appear so. No, they seem to be empty or have unelaborate nothing things. Of you know, nothing of value. Cool. directly into the middle okay you pick up a little piece and just throw it in and manage to not hit the walls and you hear it flow for a little bit nothing sorry robin sorry. did you have something to say <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I really. Oh, on, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, and I think I think the first bucket hit some walls and then just vanished into the abyss. Elliot Everson, the Meta Owl. <laughs> I don't know if I care anymore. <laughs> just turn back into a man and throw yourself in. What's going to happen? I feel like we're not meant to be jumping ourselves in there. Jumping ourselves in there, you know what I mean? Right, continue to like the Scorpion to King. Glass dust, yeah. I mean, we totally will. We're never not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah, it's over. Whoa, what the fudge? There's a skeleton in here. There is. Yeah, there was a skeleton last time you were here, too. Oh. Yeah, the uh, what's the skeleton doing? I forget. Uh, the skeleton appears to be um, a it's skeleton, but almost zombie. There's bits of flesh that still hold on. That's a um, the skeleton is clad in what appears to be like drow leather armor and uh, like a tattered black cloak. Um, the skeleton is missing one hand, and in the other hand is holding some form of wand, and it's pointing it towards you exactly as it did last time. I don't remember. Just watch out for him because he might fire his fieriness at you. He didn't. You didn't. You okay? You uh, you left it unscathed last time. It just pointed at you, and you know you didn't really give a fuck, which is more than fair. <laughs> and as you as you go past it, it kind of turns around. And it's holding out the wand towards you, but nothing. I want him to be my friend. Well, he's not. How dare you assume the skeleton's gender? That, that's not what I see. I am stopping. I'll stop. Oh, yeah. Hey, dude. <laughs> that's weird. You did so pay. Um, okay, let's stop there because 
Yeah. What is that giant purple thing? So, where are we at? We're through. So, approaching this familiar looking place with the disco lights that have distracted me, you see um, there are two statues. One that is very close to you, and one a bit further away that you can see. The one closest to you depicts, funnily enough, depicts Lolf in a monstrous form with the upper body of a female drown, the lower body of a bloated spider. You've seen a similar statue before in the, uh, like, uh, what do they call it, like, temple palace room kind of thing. Uh, bu -bu -bu. From its un upraised hands, the statue is casting stone webs that fan across the ceiling. The further statue, the one to the east, depicts Lolf in her drow form, kissing a scourge as stone spiders crawl across her body. So basically two Lolf statues. Mm. Um, still stopping right there. Mm. I'm just going to go into the game dodge, so assume I'm with the group. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know where you are. Actually. Me neither. I got kicked. Oh, no, fine. You're close enough. Ba, 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 ba. Where was I? Back in back. Who can see far to the east? Right. Oriana. You hear the sound. You hear the sound of uh, like ghostly whales coming far to the, from the east. Ghostly whales. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. <laughs> the sound of ghostly whales. <laughs> One day, oh, God, it's coming. So, I can't wait to play in your DM campaigns and ruin your lives. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. Sorry, where where's the ghosties coming from? To the right. To, to the, the east. Right. To the east. Yeah, all right. It was shocking, Elliot. It was shocking. Um, can I check the room for secret doors, please? Uh, the room, as in where? Okay. As in the room with the two statues in it. Well, if you want, it's a, it's a physical check, right? So, like, doing it with your eyes is going to well, be quite difficult. the two sort of back walls. Yeah. So, I'm going to cut stuff. I'm going to start casting the set magic yeah, as a ritual. Okie dokie. Uh, from, from where you are, there doesn't appear to be any secret doors or anything. Can, what, what, so these are two Loth statues. Are there any inscriptions or anything? Uh, not visibly from where you're standing, no. Okay, can yeah. I do a loop around both around, around this one here and look for inscriptions? Yeah, make me an investigation wrong. Okie dokie. You're a man now, right? Yes, see, change back. Okay. Uh, so you take a good look around. You take a good look around the Western statue, and you don't see any obvious. Um, you don't see any of like carvings or inscriptions, but it's quite plainly obvious that this is this is. And you've seen statues that like her before. You you know had a portion of her in your mind for some time. Yeah, I, I know. This is, Me and Lolf, but like this. Hmm. Okay. And can I, um, can, whilst people are looking around, can I start casting Detect Magic as a ritual, please? Yes. What can you see? Oh, yes, you can. Okay, cool. Let me describe. Beep, 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 beep. You see wherever you are, Serafina. I don't know where you, where the fuck are you? Oh, no, I know. It's just in case we get into a fight. What? Oh, you're under a fucking skeleton. Goddamn skeleton. Um, you see to the south, you see a number of um, what appear to be adventurer corpses. Not that old. Uh, maybe a day or so. Hmm. There, are, there are two tieflings. There's one dwarf. There's one half-elf. They appear to be wearing, like... Basic leather armor, carrying simple weapons. Uh, do we recognize? Um, oh, to the what you can definitely see now to the uh, the eastern side. Yeah. 
facing away from you and like kneeling down towards a kind of spider thing where I'll get to is um, <laughs> the source of the ghostly whales. <laughs> Um, three <laughs> undead <laughs> murdering whales <laughs> three undead looking uh, female That's creatures if I can get you yes. fucking character sheet to load oh my god please right, if we're about to enter a battle I need a wee please, excuse me. this is this is sorry terrible. please don't please don't attack me I, I've got to urinate first I'll be back in a second I think for some reason this entire recording hasn't had Kate and I on it. No. Uh, <laughs> this is what no, testing no, no. is for. I did, I did test. I just double checked my test and it was working there. But for some reason the microphone setting it switched. It switched. They, oh, no, anyway, uh, I'll, check. I'll check at the end of the recording. But. Well, for anyone in the recording, you haven't missed anything. They're not very funny people. So oh, I'm yeah, for anyone in the recording, by the way, the guy recording just said there's no sound for him. Yeah. So, <laughs> just, you know, you wouldn't have heard that. Lousies. Yeah, and this you wouldn't so have heard. I mean, to be fair, it's been a blessing, actually, because... Uh, the Look, all, you, awful. all you have to know is this, all right? Uh, he turned into an owl and was a dum dum, um, and Serafina likes to climb into wet holes, okay? Nothing there. <laughs> yes. Old man's wet hole. Don't forget that. Every week. An endless hole. Sometimes it's endless, sometimes it's really wet. You never know. Oh, it's, a real, it's a real shame they would be able to hear you, but... They can hear times. me now. They can hear me now. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> hear me now. I don't know if it, they could hear me. My, my, my recording, my test recording, it's fine. So. We will see. Well, I'm not we sure see. what's going on. Anyway, all right, let's continue. Let's go and... Oh, it's a banshee. I'm still casting to tap magic. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, a couple of minutes. Would I know what, Would I know what these are, Dodge? Would any of make, make me an arcana check? <gasps> shitty, shitty. This Potentially, yeah. Great. What do we know? Uh, quite obvious. Oh my god, why? Please, game. Please. Scorpion King King. Hmm? So, um, this is quite obvious to you, a banshee. Um, basically, a you would know that a banshee is basically a creature that is um, normally an elven undead, like remnant. Um, normally, like quite beautiful women or elven women in their time that have basically failed in life and died in a horrible way, um, left to rule and be undead forever. Oh. Okay. Specific criteria. I relay this to the team. I'm like, be careful. Oh, yeah, so normal undead stuff, like, you know, not dying, not eating, breathing and stuff. And normally, um, banshees kind of stick to the location where they were slain. Yeah. So there are three of them here. There are three of them. So uh, let's describe. What are the genders of the dead bodies in this corner, please? Are they do they look male, female, unclear? Uh, there was two tieflings, one man, one woman. There was a um, sorry. there was a dwarven man, and there was a half a half. Oh my god, half elven female. Counts with potentially two females, but there's a third somewhere. Potential. Well, also, their bodies, they may have died a really long time ago, so their yeah. bodies might just be... Uh, from even for, like, quite far back, you can see maybe a day or so, maybe a day or two. Oh, okay, so actually, yeah, you're probably right. These Banshee's bodies are somewhere else, if not already desiccated beyond... Yeah, maybe the scorpion boys they... eat, eating their corpses. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Lovely. So, next steps, guys? Come on, Kate, you're playing the Witcher, you know how to deal with Banshee's. Yeah, trap him in a in, in Yurden. <laughs> what was that? Trap him in Yurden. Yurden. There's no visible scorpion boy. Mm. Yeah. Who are they crying to? Hmm. What's on this? Who far east oh, appears to be? Um, don't move too far quite yet. It appears to be um, an altar of. Like a greyish stone. Um, let me just read it from directly from the thing. So, an altar of pale grey stone carved to look like a rectangular mass of webbing stands atop a dais. 
three banshees kneel before the altar, weeping it's as they utter prayers to something that I won't say. It's a deus, that's a deus. Uh, there are purple flames from the two braziers to your now kind of left and right, which are like sp yes. spidery brazier, you know, you get the picture of spiders and stuff. Did you say they're uttering prayers? Does really... Yes, that way. Yes. Can we hear what they're saying? Can anybody can anybody understand what they're saying? Yes, I can see those. You have to they? ping them. Yeah, the dead people. Oh, okay. More dead people. <laughs> More Gosh, dead how people. much time do I have left on my detect magic? Uh, it's been going for like three or four minutes. It's like a ten minute thing, right? Ritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just going to hide behind the statue, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Also casting detect magic. I guess I can't Damn. really interact whilst I'm in the middle of a ritual. Unless I decide to break it. Yeah, it's kind of like a standstill and kind of concentrate kind of thing. It's at this point when you're thoroughly inspecting the room, um, you hear the sound kind of echo throughout the whole chamber. Uh, it's a horrible, raspy kind of voice um, that fills and echoes the room. It's like, I need to get close to my back. With my hat. My hat's in the way. Look off. <laughs> um, well, 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 this is so very curious. Hello. Hmm. I stopped doing my detect magic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hi. Interesting. The merry band of troops that I have kept eyes on has now come up the behest of the sister of the queen they slew to kill me no that's not us i think you're looking at the wrong we're not here to kill you we're here to talk <laughs> yes what 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 smoke this this was my home long before the drow i see everything here we have no alliance with the drow as you've seen if you know we killed that one's sister then you know that we have no loyalty to the drow <laughs> so no deal was struck that you would gain passage to a level below and a sum of who knows what they can provide as a reward for my head oh yes that was well, offered but, but you may have noticed you may have noticed that we appeared into a room completely with our asses out and uh, we had to do something yes yes you certainly did it seems that you stumbled into the lair where i make corpses well, I was also look saying... you've even brought some corpses along with you yes they're my friends um just i want to make point yes these are my friends please don't hurt them look we come here because we realize that the drow must really s fear you. You are scary motherfucker, yes? So we think, well, we could bargain for shitty passage through space, whatever. You know, it's not a great prize. It's, it's just free passage one time. We make bargain with you. We finish off drow. You get land back. You let us freely pass through as much as we like. And, you know, if we find any loots while we're down here, then we take loots. No deal, no problem. There's a pause of silence for a moment. So you mean to say you want to walk around my home, steal my treasures, to take my corpses away from me, and do as you please? Is that the deal you wish? Roughly. Want, we just want passage through land. We hate Drow. We don't want to work with them. They are shit. And they don't really, they're not really friendly. But you, I see, you are a reasonable beast. You can be, you know, friend of ours. We can work together to get rid of this parasite Drow that you're so annoyed with. So, why aren't you going to kill the drow now? If that's what you want to do, well, then go do we it. Well, we can't do that on our own, just as we probably can't kill you on our own. So, you know, we figure who is more powerful to control land and see justice to drow? All you. Right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so, what are you doing here? What? We seek alliance with you for safe passage forever, not just once. I'm not going to make a deal with someone that's already made another deal. How stupid. 
But you've Do you already think seen I could be? already seen that we don't like Drow. We don't even know you. We never met you. So why would we bother hurting you? We tell Drow we're going to attack you because that's what they want to hear. He does speak the truth. We are not fools, as you may have seen. We yeah, there's no point in trying to fight you. I see many adventurers around you who has tried the same thing and is obviously perished. We don't want that. We just want to safe passage through this territory. We see the drow as asshole. I don't see you as asshole. I see you as possible friend. My friends, they see you as possible friend. We can be friends, get rid of drow. Plus, I like crowns. That bitch has got a fucking lovely crown on her head. I would quite like it if you if you if you're not bothered about it, of course. I mean, I saw you give the crown back to Loth, but some week or so ago. I didn't really have choice, if you remember. That thing was going to uh, uh, possibly tear us all apart, and we were pretty weak, actually. Oh, oh, most definitely I've seen it tear many things apart. Exactly. So you can see we are survivalists. We do what we... Sorry. We do what we can to survive. And the way that we see it, we survive by siding with you and you being our friend. So survive, then. Go and kill the Drow Queen for me. I'll love to watch. But we need your help. We cannot do that on her own. She's got far too many troops. But she's oh. clearly afraid enough of you that she would send us to do her dirty work, so... That's a real shame. That's a real, real shame. I encourage you to go back to the Drow Queen without my head. I'm sure that will go very well for you. Why don't we go back to Drow Queen with your head, body, all intact. We all fuck her up together. Eh, yeah, sound good? No? Can I uh, no. interject? So why is it that the Drow Queen would like to kill you? This is my home. Yeah. The Master gave me this level as a reward. Okay. And then these Drow came over and decided to settle in. Okay. Why, why I don't mean I don't. So because the more they come to kill me, the more corpses they give me. The more I feed. It's a win-win deal, really. They are expanding a bit too much for me. Okay, so they, but, is that why they why have they not come to kill you themselves? Because they know that you'll beat them? Oh, but they have. Look. Look in front of you. And okay. he, well, there's, there's no pointing, because there's nothing to point. But looking in front of you, you see the Banshees. Okay. Eternal torment. What is it you want? It's just such a better gift, isn't it? You want your? Do you want your land back, or is there anything else that you want? Well, I want you to kill the Drow Queen because I think it would be funny. And then what? I don't know. I'll find something else to do. Well, why? Why are you here? Why? Why? What? 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 As I've explained, the master gave me this level as my domain long ago. Why is that not a reward? Queen yourself? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I could, but uh, there have been many drow queens, and they come and they go. It's pointless. You kill one, two more grow. It's insanity. You know, you've killed one. And yet, another drow queen sits on the throne. If we kill that one, another drow queen will sit on the throne. They're vermin. They're just endless, like rats. So they keep pointless. coming out of the walls. So, so it's a pointless endeavor. Why, why, why would you want to see us do it? Because it's funny. I've seen you do it before. I laughed hysterically. It was great. It's so, what you're saying is you don't have very much to amuse you down here, and you're looking I for mean, entertainment. I could find my amusement where I want. For example, I could, you know, kill all of you and make you dance for me. I love dancing. I mean, could you? Me too. We've just actually written a new musical about skeletons <laughs> called Nobody to Go With. I would love to show you sometime. It, it's it's a work in progress, but it's really good. Yeah, sure. You could show me this dance. I'd love to make your corpse dance like it when uh, you're mine. Well, don't refer to them as my corpses. They are my friends, not my corpses. Okay? Can we see him, or is he just like a disembodied voice? You have no idea what he is. What, I tell you what, what is this? What is this thing then? This is just a giant sculpture. Yeah, it's like a sculpture slash dais kind of thing. Um, I described it before. Where is it? It's an altar of pale grey stone carved to look like a rectangular mass of webbing stands atop a dais. A dais and a dais. 
I tell you what, I have proposition for you. Yeah. You you help us kill Drow Queen. We get safe passage. I will tell you of the most fun thing to do in uh, I think he's three, four levels up. We have come up with this thing called Dragon Heist. I don't know whether you're aware of Dragon up a green dragon up on a few levels above us. Yes, I've seen Teriulai, I can see throughout a lot of the dungeon. Well, let me tell you, he is sitting on a mighty fine amount of treasure. And, yes, of uh, course he is. It's a dragon. That's what they do. Well, yes, but wouldn't it be interesting, exciting, maybe even a little naughty naughty if we... Uh, I would love... Dragon? There's nothing I would love more than to watch you try and kill this dragon. Oh, Please! Okay. We're not mm. intending to kill it. We're intending to give it a show. Okay. Um, can I... So, you are obviously quite an all-seeing being. Uh, there's a well back there. I'm sure you saw us trying to figure it out. Any, could you yes, it was quite us? amusing. It was, wasn't it? Can you, can you enlighten us at all to what that is? I could, but why... But I could, but why would I? <sighs> because... Oh, we're just gonna... I feel like we're at a bit of a stalemate here, so... Either we go, you know, we've, I just, there's no way for us to do anything here. Mate, mate. Do you, do you, can, I can I try, can I try surreptitiously surreptitious. just, you know, leafing through my through special my... book to try and gain some knowledge of this creature, please? Uh, yeah, you interested. pull out the, you yeah, pull out the book, um, what you are basically asking? I'm not, I'm not really asking. I'm not really I just want to. I'm, I'm interested in the history of this creature. Does the book know anything about it? Roll me a history check with advantage because a book. Oh, 10. God, the book is rubbish today. Yeah, the only thing the book gives you, uh, you go basically think like Muriel and, um, and Hallister. And the only thing that comes back is like Muriel, one of the seven. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Thank you. Wasn't there seven what, statues in it? What can we do for you apart from Drow Queen? What can we offer you in exchange for you helping us kill Drow Queen? Why don't you just Why ask Hallister to clear her out if you're such good friends with Hallister? Who said I was friends with Hallister? Well, he, you said he gave you this level, so that implies some. So, kind of if you think, if anyone ever thinks they're friends with Hallister, they must be absolutely mad. Acquaintances, good acquaintances. Then. What is your history? Uh, or perhaps you, you rendered him a great service. I was his bodyguard for centuries. Wow, I bet that was interesting. All the things you must have seen. Indeed. Okay. Mm. You're, getting, you're giving us very little incentive not to kill you, I'm afraid. I mean, bodyguard of Hellister Blackhawk for centuries is pretty good incentive not to attack him. I'm not going to be funny. Doesn't need him anymore. I visibly cringe at that statement. What are you doing out from behind the statue, Chingo? I'm going to come forward to speak. Oh, you should say something then. What I should I see. I see. Is we have two options. We either basically get attacked and killed by one group of things, or we get attacked and killed by another. I think we either just go on our way and just do neither of these things and walk away. And then you're not happy. The drow aren't happy, but we live. So it seems like we obviously, we are, if you don't mind me saying, yeah. Muriel, we obviously. Our escapades are obviously entertaining to you. It strikes me that you'd like to see us have more adventures, even if you could just live vicariously through us. Not so really. Not? Really? There are many. There are there are many before you. There are many currently ahead of you. Well, why have you I been have no watching us close attention yeah. then? I'm watching all of you. What kind of bodyguard would I have been without knowing what were the ins and outs of goings on of? So you're no longer engine. Hallister's bodyguard. Have you retired? Did I say that? You said that you were his bodyguard for many centuries in the past yeah. tense, so I assume you're no longer his bodyguard. He was he was given a reward full of full of people he considered rats that endlessly come and annoy him. Sounds like he was actually given a 
We're going to punishment under a reward. One minute. Hmm. <gasps> He's upset. You've upset him now. Now you've said it. <laughs> Good. Second. Take 1,000 damage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Multiple legendary oh, actions. I want to seven. Yeah, me too. As what you are to it is not good. Beep, 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 beep. He's not a very likeable chap. I was hoping for more. I was hoping for a... I don't think I'm good. drawing him out. I'm drawing out. With Amber's Amber. charm. A lawful good school. Mm. <laughs> Keep tricking him into answering questions. Let's... No, okay. Um, yeah, no response to... Did Tavis no have like many that. bodyguards, or was it just you? Just me. Does he oh, not boy. need a bodyguard anymore? Tread carefully, human. <laughs> You'd make a fine piece of my collection. Please. Maybe it's like because that, he's you? like... Yes, I would. Yeah. Yes, I very much would. I can make you dance like the rest of them. I'm not a very competent dancer. I move away from... Uh... Robin. Yeah, me too, actually. My skeletons <laughs> break out into dance. As the as you all visibly back away from Robin, the you just hear a chuckle all across the rooms. <laughs> you think they're your friends, but they're not. They'll abandon you the second it benefits them. Just like the people up here and just be the people down there. I'm the healer, my friend. <laughs> they won't go far. Great. Once I've finished off your friends, you can heal me. Oh, what do you need healing from? Well, I can't imagine you'll put up some kind of a fight. I think he's got a really sore butt. <laughs> I mean, if, um, I, mean I understand you if you're, if you're a child, you know, age, age, old age could be settling in and all that. The, re the, the combat will start. The question is, do you want to do the combat now or do you want to do it to like the next session? What do you mean? Uh, We're still talking. Why will it Not start? anymore. Because he's, uh, about to, he's about to attack Robin with everything that he has. Robin! Oh, no. Robin! <laughs> so long, Robin. Bye bye, roll that new character. Get out of next week. It's too late now. I'm afraid to start a big team fight. Yeah, that's I, what I was going to say. The thing is, like, what, what, what choice do we have here? This guy doesn't want to do anything. I agree. We could just walk yeah. away, or yeah. we could go and kill the drow. I mean, yeah. we can kill both. We will, I mean, so yeah, we will I start so next D&D &D session with the attack... A full force attack of. Oh, there he is. Oh, let me hold on. I have a thing. I have a thing. I have a thing. Uh oh. I have a handout. That look like the rock. You were making. Laws. He was always. He was always called Mural, but I'd like Muriel better. I like that badass. Why does he need a sword? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, his face, though. It's his yeah. face. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a sting. I thought it was Yeah, me too. Head. I thought it was head as well. He's an ugly motherfucker. Yeah, he, does. he is an ugly motherfucker. He doesn't look all that tough. He's pretty thick. He's pretty thick. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's thick hided. But Someone's like, wielding not... adamantin. Don't worry about it, guys. Thick. Yeah, I mean, to be fair. I see, see thick. It's a real shame. I spent hours picking the music, but we'll just start playing it now. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll play it. We'll play it out. But yeah, that's I mean, the. Uh, the bench is going to be a ball lake as well. Okay. This. So this is the end of the session. We will uh, pick up on the the full round of <laughs> murder into Robin. I'm next, sorry, next week. <laughs> what did Robin say? Like, what was he the said, I think he's got a sore butt. Like no, nah, it was it was just the continuation of basically being a douche. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, Bailey, your attacks are magic damage, aren't they? Focus those banshees. <laughs> Forget Muriel. Meta. Meta. Sorry. That's what we said. That's what we said. The, only, the only downside to having a combat is a week, you get a whole week to think about what yeah, you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic oh, attacks, Bailey. always just wrong. does the same thing, so she's not gonna think about it, she's just gonna go ham. Yeah. do it. Magic <laughs> attacks versus ethereal <laughs> beings. Every time. I, do, I said I said all of the things I said as a uh, an armored hide. <laughs> 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 you most certainly did well.
That's why you couldn't understand me because I was going. I was, trying to, I was just trying to get something to get some answers out. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, I was getting. <laughs> oh, he was. A, he was a complete <laughs> douche. To be fair, like he wasn't. I thought we'd get a lot more out of him. As much. Well, mm. I. To be fair, yeah, actually, I'll, out of this, we thought this guy would like do what we want, right? And we go and visit him. He doesn't want to do anything we want. He's not going to help us. So actually, the deal with the drought is better. Than yeah. this guy, so it'd be easier to it's kill him. Get the stuff. Yeah, then, yeah. Well, you know, but... I can promise you that I already have my opening move. One, because it's, you know, Britain, and yeah, it's uh. Yeah! Good one. Good one. We all, should we all write new character sheets for next week, Dodge? Or... <laughs> Ortega can, can really run fast. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the Scorpion King's got eight legs, so. I'm sure he probably can run faster. Okay, calling him scorpion king now. The scorpions oh, only have six legs, right? I do Oh no, you you're, you're right. It is six legs. I think. Yeah. You say someone's being dumb, and I'm glad it's yeah. you, not me. Right. I'll leave <laughs> recording there. See you next week. Bye, viewers. Bye, Bye. 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 viewers. What's your name? What I hope you're ready. Ready for a red room next next week. Hey. Oh dear. Moo.